the Joe Rogan experience. I have a lot of bad thoughts, Joe. Yeah, I bet you do. (laughs) I bet you do when you're on those morning shows. Imagine if you could get arrested for your thoughts. Like, cause I think some things that I would never do. You got You got to erase your browser mind thoughts too. Yeah. Like could erase you imagine, your history. Could you imagine if you could, if you had an impulse to just smash someone in the face, but you were resisting it, you weren't going to do it. Are you a good person but, if you're resisting it constantly? Uh, it depends on who you're talking to. Yeah. If you're the asshole all the time, you're constantly getting in fights with people. It might be you. <laughs> but you, you know, we all know that person who's like this fucking asshole. I'm like everyone's an asshole in your stories. But there's also times when some people need to be smacked, and there's those in those moments. Like, imagine if you could get arrested because you you tested positive for a uh, p- potential aggressive episode. <laughs> Right? It's like a COVID test, like you, you get two lines. You're keeping your yeah. shit together, but you're imagining. You're imagining just teeing off on this guy, just smashing this He dude. could be a danger. Yeah, like, hey, man, yeah. stop doing it. But if you have that thought, I'm about to smash that guy. Dee, 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 dee. A light goes off, the cops come in, and they arrest you. And yeah. they arrest you because you had a potentially violent episode. You you're, hit red line, You're Your red flag. <laughs> Sam, this is a serious thing. You yeah. went to red line. But I didn't do anything. But you might have. Yeah. Or they'll tell you you were going to. We know. We have predictive technology. Here predictive in technology. World. Well, like, <laughs> or yeah, that movie Minority Report. Yes. They lo- that seemed so impossible. Predicting murders, now it's, though. Now it's like the World Economic Forum guy was saying that they won't have to have elections in the future. Wow. The, we will be able to predict with such precision that we don't Save need a lot of elections. Money, though. <laughs> Did you see this story? Going what? Around? Uh, British kid. man acquitted over London, Spain flight bomb hoax. He texted in Snapchat to his friends, I'm on the way to blow up the plane. I'm a member of the Taliban. Then. Oh my God. The Spanish. Oh as, as a joke? God. As a joke. He said to joke to his friends. That's and a good two bit. Spanish F 18s were <laughs> sc- scrambled to. Look how close the F 18 is yeah, to that other jet's very wing. Close. That's insane. <laughs> He was just acquitted, though, because the judge was like, there's obviously no threat here. But what was curious is how the uh, message was found, because Snapchat's supposed to be encrypted. And some people think it's because of the Wi-Fi network at the airport. And the Mm. airport says that's not how it was. And then the UK authorities said, oh, where was it right here? Uh, so is this evidence of some new technology? That I mean, as you guys were saying this stuff, that's why I brought it up. Do you think um, that's what they're, what are you interpreting this as? They well, said that they have, there it is. For unknown reasons, it was captured by the security mechanisms of England when the plane was flying over French airspace. Yo. Wow. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> the message was made in a strictly private environment between the accused and his friends with whom, which whom he flew um, through a private group to which only they have access. So the accused could not even remotely assume that the joke he played on his friends could be intercepted or detected by British services, nor by third part- parties other than his friends who received the message. See, that's crazy because, like, sometimes you'll say wild shit to your friends in a text message yeah. for fun, you know? And you're assuming, if I send you an iMessage, you're assuming that that's encrypted. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop telling my friends I'm going to murder my girlfriend. You have to use signal. Gotta be careful. You have to use yeah. signal for that. Today's the day. I'll say that. But I bet if you'd have That's used safer. signal, I bet they're looking through signal too. I yeah. bet there's. I bet there is a scanning that's being done on all cell phone communication, looking for key target words that they think would be problematic. Well, well think about how much of our freedom we're constantly giving away. Yeah. I don't. When I fly. I don't want to wait in a long line. So I give them, you know, my iris, my fingerprint, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Now yeah. those lines are longer than the other lines, right? So I'm are like, they? oh, yeah. If I go to LaGuardia, fucking pre-check and clear are the longest lines now. No shit. Yeah. So so sometimes you just fuck it and you go through the I just other go, Yeah, I take my shoes off again. I'm going backward. Wow. But then there's going to probably be a new line. You got to give more. <laughs> you dip your balls in the fucking thing. Da, da, you got to give them the outline of your penis. Da. I get the, I'm, like, I gave you my penis. You got to let me cut. Well, you have to have the update and the chip. Do you have your update? You can fly if you have your update. <laughs> did you update your, your brain? Dick? Did you update? We only your have brain? your flaccid penis. We need a hard penis. If you have the brain chip, we'll let you pass through. You don't ever have to worry about identification ever again. I thought of a new wrinkle for that. I can let you update right there at the airport with some janky terminal that's probably hacked, or you could do it at home, like everybody else will probably be doing it mm. when you update. 
Yep. Update from a safe place. Update from a safe place. you forgot, place. or you have to do it here. Like It's like a subway terminal. Yeah. Yeah. It'll get to the point where you'll just have an account in your head, and you won't have to pay for anything with a credit card ever again. It'll all be an account in your head, but only through central bank digital currency. <laughs> if you subscribe to central bank digital currency, we can eye on out all the inequality and all of the problems of society today. They'll get us. They'll get us. They'll get us. They're going to get us with a chip in our head. It's going to be awesome. That's the problem. <laughs> they're gonna, you're going to put that chip in and you go, God, why was I resisting this? I was so stupid just 20 minutes ago. <laughs> like, yeah. Now I get it. I mean, if, yeah. you, if you imagine, like, you can only imagine being as, te- as intelligent as you are on your best or worst days. But could you imagine being like a caveman? Like like a Australia Pithecus, like the early days, you know, just barbaric life, covered in hair, yeah. and then somebody gives you something, just a little shot or something, and all of a sudden you can think like you. You'd be like, "Whoa! I didn't realize how fucking dumb I was." <laughs> I think yeah. we're gonna plug in, and it's gonna be so. Whoa! Oh my god, this is so much better. This is so much better. This is so much better than regular brains. We're just going <laughs> to accept the fact that we have access to information constantly. You're seeing it all in your head. That's just Adderall right now, I think. Well, it's probably going to be better than Adderall. Yeah. It's probably going to be better. If you, if you could have something that stimulates various parts of your brain to produce certain neurochemicals, if that's possible, they're going to be able to do something where you're, you can, people that are paralyzed can use um, cursors. They can, they can like use their brain to figure out how to navigate computers. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty. But again, that it's intrusive, right? I mean, it's it's, it's your thoughts. Right. But if it's if you, if you're a paralyzed person, it's a really good thing. Yeah. Like it's way better to be able to do that than not. That's true. But once we start doing it too. Yeah. Sam, I know uh, you're not paralyzed, but let me tell you the benefits <laughs> of linking up. And you just start talking to your girlfriend. It's gonna like, be like Jehovah's Witnesses. They're gonna be thinking about linking door. up. I mean, yeah. my, my my cousin linked up. He's never felt better. You know, it's, he he signed a one year lease. You link up for one year. You can't disconnect or they kill you. <laughs> it'll be like a, it'll be like Ozempic. You give the linked up people like a year to see how they do, and then you're like, I might link up. No, it'll be like the military service. Like mm. you have to if you're gonna link up, you have to link up. You have to commit to one year because you're contributing to the grid. Yeah. You're contributing to the grid of ideas if you link up. So you have to keep it on for one year. And most people don't take it off. And if you do take it off, the parts where you screw it and get infected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to get a re-up. You look weird. You're like one of those weird people that just disconnected. <laughs> We're so close to something like that.